hello and welcome to the channel if you haven't done so already make sure to like and subscribe so this is going to be a hydrogen video so make sure to get your coffee get your drink relax get some popcorn this is going to take a minute all right so let's get into the first article it's going to be two articles that we're going to be talking about it seems like this um gm and honda partnership runs pretty deep but anyway let's get into it um, GM and Honda obtained two million grants from fuel cell manufacturing operations in Michigan. Now they initially gave them the money, or they were going to give them the money in 2017, and then they would start production in, you know, 2020. And obviously with COVID hitting, so all that stuff was scrapped. So now they're getting that money. The state of Michigan awarded a two million. A grant to GM and Honda on Tuesday, February 28th, 2023, supporting development of company's joint hydrogen fuel cell facility on the south side of Detroit. Um, the grant will provide only a fraction of 48.9 million required to set up the new hydrogen fuel cell operations. And as always, I'm just going to be going through um, the article and just giving you the meats and potatoes. Um, at least the slimmed down version, as always, I'm going to be leaving the links of these articles in the description. So if you want to go check them out yourself and you want to read it from your yourselves, go ahead. I <laughs> smack the mic. <laughs> anyway, today in 2023, GM have resumed development and the launch of fuel cell system manufacturing operations is in the immediate future. This timing makes the project eligible for the immediate award for $2 million, so disembarkment of the funds is pending, which is cool, you know. Um, I, I've been talking a lot about hydrogen fuel cell, just like the previous video that I just did about Honda um, making their synthetic fuels and also, you know, focusing on EVs as well as hydrogen fuel cell for, you know, for the foreseeable future. Today, there are only 56,000 hydrogen fuel cell vehicles on the road worldwide. However, launch of the fuel cell system manufacturing LLC operations could help change that. Honda is also planning on a new compact crossover F FCEV nameplate, while GM intends to develop medium-duty trucks powered by a combination of batteries and its hydrotech hydrogen fuel cell technology. And I made a video a long time ago with um, GM's hydrogen fuel cell, um, or their hydrotech uh, hydrogen fuel cell technology, where they have them in like, um, like a gas station, where the gas station is being operated by the fuel cells. So what, what happens is, um, you would pull up to a gas station, right? And then they would have like a, um, like this giant air. <laughs> I don't know how to, how to explain it, but you would have like this building that's, um, powering all the energy from this fuel cell, you know, station. So if you have an EV, all you have to do is just, you know, park your car there and charge your car and the power is actually coming from the hydrogen fuel cell instead of coming from the grid which is use utilizing natural gas you know so then it's not really clean but at least with a hydrogen fuel cell station for evs to go charge at you know i'm all in for that and i think i made a video on that one with that hydro tech um, especially when it comes to GM utilizing that. I think it's like a mobile, I don't know if it's like a mobile uh, station or whatever it is. Um, it's been a, <laughs> it's been a long time since I made that video, but I was, I definitely highlighted GM and I, you know, I give them their flowers per se, um, cause that's a really neat idea. I liked it a lot. So let's go on to the next story. Um, here we go. And this one is also fuel cell. As always, I will leave a, you know, link in the description. Honda's aging hydrogen fuel cell get new life in a data center. It's putting some old Clarity fuel cells back to work, combining them into a backup power system for its data center just south of Los Angeles. So in case, you know, the power goes out, um, that system will automatically kick in before they were using um you know, diesel generators in order to, um, you know, fuel their backup system. But now they're going to be using hydrogen fuel cell as a backup system. So that makes sense. 
instead of it just, you know, sitting there, not doing anything. <clears throat> it's a proof of concept Honda told Tech Crunchy, but it aims to commercialize the tech and sees potential applications beyond helping data centers keep the lights on. The, the used fuel cell systems in Honda's backup, um, backup power demonstration once powered least clarities via an electrical chemical reaction that combines hydrogen and oxygen to generate electricity. Honda retired these used fuel cells for transport, but they apparently still work well enough to drive its server farm in case of a power failure. Previously, Honda relied on a diesel for backup power at the facility. Honda said that it uses the particular uh, data center to securely maintain and access its proprietary data because automotive design is data intensive. <laughs> so you guys let me know what you think about that. I think that's a neat idea using, you know, the hydrogen fuel cell as a backup, but I got to find out what, what that, um, cause it, it's, it's, it's killing me. I need to find out exactly what those, um, those, uh, those remote or hydrogen fuel stations that um, GM set up. I need to find that. Give me one second. All right, so this is it. This is what I've been <laughs> actually looking for. So they have the mobile power generators, which they can bring out and it can um, do super fast charging, as well as have these like um, these gas stations that's uh, purely run on a hydrogen fuel cell as well too. So I think that's a neat, neat idea. Um, <laughs> I like it. I like this idea. Um, retail EV station, so you have your rapid charge. So you can have like maybe even I think this is even like a like a regular gas station, and then this is the other additional to it where they can just park this next to a gas station, and you have fast charging that's not even using the grid or anything like that. It just uses, um, you know, hydrogen fuel cell, which. I love this idea, and I do remember making a video on it. For some reason, I can't pull that video out, but it's there somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, you guys let me know what you think about this whole fuel cell um, technology. Um, I think it's, um, I like the idea. My main thing is just the infrastructure is not there, and but you do have big companies investing into it, so maybe the infrastructure will improve, especially with Honda and GM partnering up. I think they can definitely make something happen and increase the amount of vehicles that are on the road as well as you know having more stations available and not just here in the state of California. Even though there are stations here in the state of California, they're very, very um, limited. They have them for like big trucks that uses hydrogen fuel cells, but they don't have it for, you know, passenger cars, just regular people to go utilize those stations to, you know, refuel our vehicles. But anyway, I'll let you go. I will see you in the next one. As always, make sure to like and subscribe on your way out. It is completely free of charge.